Do it. Do it. Take your time because I just want to get some footage. but Noel went to North Cedar. Yeah, Cedar Boy. What's that say? Wagon Burner, yes, dude. That's what I have. Yeah, right. Wagon Burner Head Turner, the Indian. You are. The Morning, friends. So, do you guys remember, you, you probably won't, but you will if you go back into the footage. Because, Dave, when was that? Uh, spring of 2020. Spring of 2020. Yeah. That's right, so go back and, and look. And I forget the name of the job, but me and Hogan were in here fall, and it was, a, it was actually a fun job. But what it was is, it was the floodplain job. That's what we called it, something about the floodplain. So, so go in there and review that. Go to my videos and hit search floodplain job or something like that. It will pop up. And there was some big trees. Friends, look at this. So this is, this is on the river. This is the floodplain in here. And they were to build a house, and I don't want to bother them, but I... David said it was okay if I just kind of showed you guys, you know, what happened. Remember, remember the big cedars we did in here? They were They did friends they put it on stilts it's already been up to half the stilt there isn't this incredible what a what a wonderful thought the river is right there you can actually see the river through the trees there see it there flowing that's the nanaimo river the famous nanaimo river and it is famous but big cottonwoods big dirty balsams look at how healthy that balsam is right there friends that's bigger than you think because of the cameras look at that school marm thing <laughs> Right, so it's big timber down here. There's a couple of more bollies here. They're not looking good, to be honest with you. They look, well, they don't look terrible, but to me, they look like they're drying out. They are drying out, actually. Those will probably die within a couple of years. I'd be interested to look at that stump. Maybe we should just take a quick peek, because Dave's got us in to look at some, some dead stuff here. You guys will remember this big cedar. Look at this thing, leaning away from the house. If this was to go, it would probably take the whole that's that's like an eight foot stump right there easy eight foot cedar just a beast of a tree look at this friends big school marm in it isn't that amazing friends no fear of that coming on the house dave yeah it's too too hard of a lean those balls there's a trail down there isn't there I want to check something out on those balsams, Dave. Are you okay with that? Yeah, sure. I want to look at the stumps. We've had balsams dying. Um, and they get this beetle. So this is just a beautiful, beautiful spot, friends. Some of you will remember this job, but I just want to look at these. See these balsam here, friends? They don't look bad right now. They don't look, but a trained eye can looks at foliage. Not the big picture, you, you, you look. So I'd just be interested if those beetles have, have been, see, there's the place. Isn't that neat? Come on, Finn. Isn't that incredible, friends? <laughs> it's a big tree. <laughs> That's a special specimen. That holds up our backyard. It sure does. <laughs> that whole root system does. So here's these, look at these size of these trees, friends. These balsam, okay? They are huge. Now, the reason I come down here, okay. I think I see what I'm, I hope that isn't what I think it is. This one here. 
Okay, let me just look at something here. So here's these balsams, and they are big. I'm just, okay, good, that's lichen, not sawdust. Okay, good. Yeah, good. Okay, so there they are. So what you look for, friends, is little bits of sawdust. You'll see the beetle will come in, and it doesn't look like they're here, which is good. They're just, they're really, they're really going after our balsam. Well, that's good, that's a good sign. Foliage just looked a little bit kind of dry at the top a bit, but that that's no, not a big one Very cool So this is all floodplain friends and 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 the or the idea was to come in and do this <laughs> And I just think it's it's amazing What do you call them them supports again? They're like uh, Well, it's a, just a steel frame like the yeah, but the 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 cones I forget what there's a word um uh, the concrete, yeah. The concrete or spread footing, right? Yeah. So there it is, friends. Up in the air, just amazing. There, there was some big trees in here, friend. Remember, big. Yeah, this is lovely. And the river, if I'm not mistaken, is right here. <laughs> so it, it is a lovely, lovely spot, friends. This is our Nanaimo River. So you can see, it wouldn't take much. And I remember working around that, that that maple there. Yeah. Yeah, we crashed a couple through there. And then here's our river. So to live here, it is just spectacular. And the river's come up in the last couple days because of our rain we had. We had a huge, huge rain. So here it is. And look what happens. Look at this, just rips the banks apart here. Yeah. Yeah, this is our cedar that fell last year. Yeah, okay, so this was that one, eh? Yeah. Did it, took, did it take a piece of the maple out with it, or? Uh, no, no. Well, yeah, so there was a, maple, a dead maple. Yeah. It, but it's gone now. Yeah. But every year we lose a tree or two along the bank. Through, and you can, you can see. Yeah, and you can see why. Yeah. This will be the next cluster that will probably just fall off. Yeah. So that's kind of what happens, friends, on, in here. So when the, when the winter comes, you get a massive flood through here. And it, it rips through here. That's why the cottonwoods do real well. Because they can just grow in, in water. But, but look at this. This turned out real nice. You see that big old cluster of stumps? A couple of nice cedars left on site. I remember shooting those big cedars by. We wanted to save something out for them. And, and it, it turned out really nice. Thanks for letting us look, Dave. Finn, you better say goodbye to everybody. Bye. <laughs> Yeah, pretty neat. Mother and father-in-law. No, it's your grand folks, isn't it? Uh, no, mother and father-in-law. Yeah, mother and father-in-law. So nobody's That's ripped anybody's heads off yet. There's... No, so far so good. <laughs> Beautiful spot. I always love coming back to yeah, the well, to the jobs. Uh, yeah. Okay, what's this? Okay, okay, this is what I'm talking about, right here. Yep, okay, I think, see that right there, friends? You see that? Oh, maybe we're, yeah, I, I think that, that that's wood. Yeah, that's a boring insect right there. So it might just be the onslaught of them that I'm seeing. Keep an eye on these. Just look for sawdust? Yeah, just look for little bits of sawdust in there. And they just, they come in and, uh, and they've been working on the balsams really hard for the last two years. So here we are, friends, in the floodplain now, Dave and his boy and, and myself. And he's got a, a tree project we're looking at. We're just throwing together some ideas. Um, but, but here's where the cottonwoods are tall. And this is loggable cottonwood, but we're obviously not doing that. It's not, that's not the, the game plan. But this is what this is. It's all cottonwood, balsam, and cedar, and maples. We're down, we're on the floodplain. So look at these, you know, it, it's big stuff. They actually tower over the cedars, friends. Uh, this is beautiful, Dave. So where's the tree for it? Over here? I take a left this time. Oh yeah, there it is there. Yeah, it needs a bit of siding. Come on. 
one, but I'll wait for you. Yeah, there we go. Come on, Pen. Wow. Whoa, look at, whoa, Finn, where are you going? <laughs> oh, look at the tree for it, dudes. Come on. Come on. You're kidding me. This is yours, Liam? Or uh, Finn, I mean? It's both of them. It's Sawyer's too, yeah. It's got an older brother. Very cool. Hey, nice ladder. Right? <laughs> Found that in the metal recycling. I love it. <laughs> This is great. This is great. What a place for a young fella to grow up. Finn. So friends, here we are again. We're we're down. I, I wanted to there's been some questions in the in the in the comment section which is which is great. This log, I, I wanna see if I can actually do some counting here. Because uh, I know it's hard for people to fathom that a five foot year uh, a five foot tree can be fifteen years old. You gotta remember something, friends. This tree was not five feet at the stump cedar trees are notorious for flares big flares and when a faller goes in to cut down a cedar tree a lot of guys will just pop up but that's why the old school stumps you see with the with the springboards in them that's what a lot of that was for was to get up out of the flare and get to where it's cylindrical so it's easier to fall and you're not fighting these big flares um, so that was that was a, one of the main reasons for getting up out of that and springboards was that was the flare and the reason you can see this cedars are notorious for big big flares there's a flare right there look at how far that flare went up look at it friends it goes up 15 feet easy 15 feet and the bark is included so it comes down to here this is hollow friends you see this okay so so this would come down this would come down and it would start to flare out up, way up here, like this, like a big sloop, okay? So I, I just wanted to come down and maybe look at the grain a bit here and 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 kind of get a little closer idea uh, uh, to, to, to years. Remember, we'll never count it because what I, what I do in a situation like this is I, I take from the center and I go right there, okay? Then I measure this distance here which is about eight inches to the center it is it's about eight inches from there sorry friends from there to there is about eight inches to the center you see that so i take this here and i measure that then i count grains you know what i mean by that friends and then you do it that way but i'm going to tell you something right now you look at this you freaking look at this when you when you want to try and count grain look at this you can't even see it, friends. You can't even see it. Look at this. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna try something. Let's see if this will work. I usually have pretty good luck with this. Look at this, friends. Okay, let's see. Let's go over here. This camera, friends, is just ridiculous. So, so look at this. So see this right here? See the little bits of, okay, see this stuff, right? I wanna show you something. Oh, yeah, there. Now, watch this, watch. Watch what we're looking at, watch. Watch this. Look at that. Look at what we're looking at right here. It is absolutely incredible. So the outside of the tree is th the oldest. Look at it, you can't count it. We'd have to see what we could do there. So, look at this friends. Here's a good spot to do some counting right here. So what I'll do is I'll count 100 rings, which probably, if I was to count 100 rings, it would probably be about right there, right? But we'll do it. We'll count it, right? 100. Because you can't just guess, but I'll, I'll go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So there's that. So we double that. There's 100 rings right there. That's 100. Okay? So why don't we go like this? Just for, just for giggles. Just for shingles and gingles. Okay? So keep that spot. Let's go like this. Let's say... That right there is a hundred years. 
Hey. Well, friends, look, look at it. You can almost count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 30, 40, 50. That is 100 years right there. Easy. So, 1, 200. They start getting wider. 300, 400, 500. And then you've got all this now. So there's 500 years right there. Okay? Say it was here. You got another. You see what I'm saying, friends? <laughs> Look at. Look at how tight the grain is. And it goes in another eight inches. They say 1,500. You know what? Even if it's 12. 12 to 1,500 year old tree. Because that's, that's where it lays. It, I just wanted to, people to understand this isn't, it, it's not just random numbers thrown out into the universe. These are, the facts are right here. If I had my, my uh, magnifying glass, I'd probably do a little bit more of a count on it. But I know in my heart that this is, this is well over a thousand years old, this tree. It's probably 1,200, 1,500, like he said. 15 is a good number. Amazing. Remember, this isn't the bottom of the tree, neither. Wow. Look at this. Okay, I'm going to take a few minutes. So, if you're just new to, to this and, and just checking in, here's the piece that I cut off right here with the, with the 390. Or, the sorry, the one... There it is. It's an inch. I cut off an inch. Of this whole piece. It even got thinner in some spots. Because it was thinner over there. So, look at this, friends. Look at it. <laughs> hey. Here, let's do this. Isn't that amazing? Wow. Okay. I'm going to take a closer look at this. These rings. I'm by myself, so I, I can't have somebody hold the phone. So I just stopped in to say hi to the boys. The Indian's doing good today. He's doing real good. So, friends. I tried to find the best spot on the tree to count rings and this is a pretty good span right here and the grain is very very consistent there's not doesn't get like see there's a little spot of a little bit wider there but look at this from like here straight out this way like it's very consistent I counted a hundred grains I did it I counted them 10 20 where did I get to a hundred was about right there 100 so if it's consistent th friends that's 100 great there I, I just literally counted them even if it was there or there same this is, look look it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six nine twenty thirty forty fifty and another fifty it's 100 years 200 300 400 500 it's like 500 to here. And there's another, well, actually, to the center, it's another, <laughs> it's crazy. The thing's crazy. 15's just a good number and it sounds good. Could be 12, could be 13, could be 16. Wow, it's over a thousand, that I do know. What an <laughs> Think about this for a minute. Think about this for a minute. Let's just say a thousand, just for la for lack of anything. A thousand years? My grandma, my grandma, Bobo, she's almost a hundred. She's 95. <laughs>
95 years. Look at the eagle. Look at the eagle's talons. Oh. The eagle. A closer look. darn tootin'. Look at the feathers, friends. See? Those are feathers. There's his shoulder, his chest, his legs, and his feet. It's beautiful. And then the bear. Here's the bear. Look. This is the bear. There's his teeth. Look at this, friends. Look at how beautiful this is. I got you on a wide, wide view of the camera, right? As wide as it'll go. Okay? So it's eagle at the top, then the bear. Okay, there's the bear. Pretty amazing. And then the killer whale. And then the princess. Isn't that amazing? Look at this. Indian princess right here. Look at the Indian princess. Look at how beautiful she is. It's Tia. Friends, this is Tia. I just saw Tia. Tia Seward, friends. She just drove by. Right? She's on our live feeds. Tia, right? Yeah. And Virgil, her boy. Virgil. How are you, brother? Uh, I like Virgil. I like that name, Virgil. She is a sweetheart. She comes on our live feeds every Sunday. This is the, 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 the Indian princess right here. Indian princess. Killer whale. <clears throat> Bear. Eagle. Fifty foot. This thing is fifty feet tall. Hey, okay? get your teeth. I would rather you not, to be honest with you. I mean, that's come on. Yeah, brother, my Indian, <laughs> my Indian friend. So here we are at the Indians, and look at this Indian. Indian, you run husky. Mm -hmm. You're a husky. No. Leave him off. So this is Indian shop. He's been gracious enough to show us his his beautiful wife, who I actually went to school with. And Noel, but Noel went to North Cedar. Cedar boy? Yeah, Cedar boy. And what's that say? Wagon burner. Yes, dude. <laughs> That's what I know. Yeah. Wagon burner, head turner. The Indian. You are the Indian. There he is. My yes, friend. Dude. That's what I know. Yeah. Wagon burner, head turner. The Indian. You are the Indian. There he is. My friend, the Indian. You know, friends, when I came down here, thanks, Noel. When I came down here. Love you, Billy. Love you too, buddy. We'll talk to you soon. You're doing good work, brother. Very good. I, uh, I came down here in 2008 and uh, 18, pardon me, to, to do, he called me to come cut that one. It's on the video. It's on the last video. Friends, this means a lot to me. It does. It, it means a lot to me. This is a serious business for me. My family's native. Uh, my wife and kids are native. And uh, friends, you, you got to understand when I was, when you hear me say the word Indian, it, it, that's up to you if you want to take offense to that. My my buddy, my brother Noel. He, he, look, he Joe. The, friends, I grew up. I got kicked out of school. Hi, friends. I was gonna. I was about to right there. I was about to. Talk, I got a yellow hat over top of this light. That's why I look yellow. But it's better like this for me. Um, I was about to tell the story. I wasn't. I wasn't good at school. 
friends. I wasn't good at school. I wasn't a schoolboy. I was uh, had a lot of energy, as you can imagine, and uh, I I made it to grade six, the second year of grade six. See what happened is in grade six, as the grade fivers, the new grade fivers were coming up to grade six, and I was already in grade six. They basically needed a role model for the new grade fives coming up, so they held me back uh, as a as a role model for the five, for the next five. <laughs> Yeah, anyways, that's a, a, a funny way of saying I, I failed grade six. Me and, a, me and a couple other fellows. That was tough. That was a tough time because in elementary school, you go from grade, or it was one to seven, K to seven, pardon me. That was the school. Okay, it was K, kindergarten to seven. So I was about to go to the top of the school. All my buddies went. And I stayed back. It was tough. It was. It was a tough time in my life. I remember it. And then the we were outside and, and, and we used to kick the soccer ball over the one little part of the roof there. It was just like a, a part of the roof. And we used to kick the soccer ball over and it would go over to the other side. Well, I shanked it off the side of my boot and it actually went through a window. And it ended up landing on a, a teacher and it... It was a bit of a bad scene, friends. It was. I, it, it, and you really liked her. Pardon me? And you really liked that teacher. Yeah. And it, it, it just was, it was a horrible, it was an accident. It was terrible. Anyways, they kicked me out. That, that was the last straw. And, and they, they, they kicked me out of the school uh, in grade six. So I left all my friends, grade six and seven. Remember those times when you were in the... That was tough. That was a very, actually, I don't talk about that stuff, but that was a very, very tough time of my life. Um, so I ended up going to North Oyster, they called it. The school was North Oyster. 50% Native, First Nations, Indian, whatever you want. Um, I got really tight with the Natives. I would go down to the reserves and play soccer with them and, and, I just, I loved them, man. It was, it was such a cool time of my life, actually. And uh, so that, that's what I was about to talk about right there. And then I kind of sidetracked and went off when I said I got kicked out of school. So that's what happened. I, and I got kicked out of grade six and I went down to a different school. And that's where all, I met all my, my native friends, the Seymours. And the, yeah, it was wonderful. It was a neat time of my life. They wanted to paint me red and stick me. I was goalkeeper in soccer, right? So they, they wanted to paint me red and put me between the pipes. It, it goalkeeper for on, on the Indian soccer team. Uh, wonderful people. Wonderful, wonderful people. Uh, yeah. Anyways, back to the show. I just, wanted to, I just wanted to clarify that and share that with you. Good. Indian wagon burner. <laughs> There's jokes about every freaking, every nationality in the world. There's jokes about... Canadians, there's jokes about Americans, there's jokes about Polish, there's jokes about the Ukrainians, there's jokes about the natives, there's jokes about everybody. I, I just, I, I think it's funny. Me and, me and Indian, we, we just, we embrace the love, man. Me and him have been, we've been kicking each other, well, lifting each other up actually for years. But um, that, that thing, you know, uh, Friends, that's out of love. He, he's that's out of love. Uh, if it if it offends you, that's up to you. That really is up to you. Uh, the man is a, is a, is a, an incredible artist. Incredible. He does silver. He does. He he's he's the Indian man. It's in his blood. He does it all. He does silver work. He it, he's. He's just an amazing guy. Look, there's it's no it's, it's not no joke here. Uh, I'm proud to know the man, actually, and I'm so happy, so happy that he's doing well. Really happy that he's doing well. So, yeah, very cool. And he runs Husky, so... Eh? Anyway.